think being 15 and pregnant, there was a lot of struggles. One being just different from my peers, trying to still pass my GCSEs and still come to school because my teachers made it very welcoming for the other students to understand that not Jade's different, but this is the circumstance that Jade's in. We still respect, we still love, and so that was really helpful. Having my son, seeing him grow, he's actually made me want to do well, put my stress, my tiredness behind me and just keep going. You see God as this person where you have to be pitch perfect, but the God that I was taught in the church that I go to is that my plan, my purpose and my journey is ordained by him. If I trust in him, if I seek him, if I stick to his word now, regardless of my mistakes, I will only just become a better person. There's a lot of unidentified leaders that are out there. There's a lot of young people that can speak very well. There's a lot of young people that have the ability to articulate ideas. A 45-year-old, for example, who went to school 30 years ago, they might not know about how school is run right now. They might not know about why young people are carrying knives or why young people are selling drugs or things like that. But a young person who lives there, who experiences that, would be able to stand up and say, this is the reasons why and this is how it can be changed. So I feel like if any young person has an interest in changing their own life or their friends around them, politics is the perfect way to start. One thing that I'm always taught is you help others, you pour out for others, you give to others. So I just thought, why not I be someone bridging that gap between the young people and where they actually would want to go in life? It takes a lot of work to be a, a young mum and still go to school and still work and things like that. But I think the worst thing that you can do personally is have the mentality of I'm doing this by myself I don't need anyone because you do need somebody. I use myself as an example. My mum suffered with schizophrenia, so already my, my aspirations and my dreams are already limited because there's no resources, there's not a lot of organisations that can help me. So my main thing is finding organisations and getting people that want to help young people to come in and help and sit down and actually mentor these young people. The biggest obstacle, and I think it's still a current obstacle, is just continuously telling myself that I can make it. This is not just about me, this is about my son, this is about the other young ladies that are out there that are feeling how I feel. So it's just getting my mind straight and saying, you've got to get up and you've got to still go for it. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.